Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. Very happy to have you here because today I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most useful licks that I teach my students. And that is because it breaks you right out of that pentatonic box and gives you something really melodic to play when we're playing, you know, in a major key. So today we're going to be looking at the key of G major. We're going to be looking at four very simple chords. A G, an E minor, an A minor and a D. Alright, a lovely little chord progression and we're going to be using a particular lick that brings in this extra note um, and I'm going to show you a different, a few different variations you can do with it and a few different embellishments so by the end of the lesson you've got something really fun and really interesting to play all right but again it's going to be really simple so uh, anyone can do this so uh, let's start with the lick right the main lick which is going to sound like this really simple to start off with right uh, but the reason that this is interesting is because we're using this note here, the C note, all right, on the fifth fret in the G. We can also find it here on the first fret in the B. And we're going to be using both in this lesson. All right, now, the reason that this sounds interesting is because if we are playing the pentatonic or the blues, something like this, we're always using whole steps, right, which means that each note that we hit is like a fret, uh, two frets apart, or one fret apart. Don't know how to describe it uh, but uh, when we're dealing with half steps right we're just like one fret next to each other that's what gives us that major or minor sound depending on what key we're playing in so when we target that note in this context it gives us a really nice sound and it breaks us out of that bluesy rocky kind of sound all right there's a few different things we could do we could slide up to that from two to five Four, two, and zero again, right? That's the main like All on the G string. We could do a little... We could just start on the fourth fret and slide in and out. Then back down to two. Then pull off again as well. Something like that. Um, we could just hit the notes. A little mix. All right, so lots of things you can do with that. Uh, and it sounds really nice. So what we're gonna do is just stick with the main lick. Slide from two to five, back to four, to two, then zero. And then we're gonna play the bass note of the chord and then two strums. That's just got the main part down, right? Now, we can also, let's, when we're in A minor, for example, right? Rather than slide all the way up there, we've got those notes right under our fingers. I could just do that, all right, and target the same note here in the first fret in the B. I can do this in different ways as well. I could just hammer on and pull off, and then 2 0 on the G. What I like to do is I like to get the note open and then just pull off really quickly. I just like the way it sounds. And then two zero on the uh, the G, and then get the bass note of the D as I come out of that A minor chord. So it'd be like. All right. So I can mix it up like that. <clears throat> Another thing I could do is uh, when I'm in the D chord here, um, I could do something a little bit different, right? I could use, again, it's about using the major scale, knowing where that is, and finding the notes there. Now, this is the stuff that I teach constantly. This is the main thing that I teach with my students and in my program and stuff like that. So if you want to know a lot more about this stuff and um, you'll really get advanced at it, then you can apply below. I'm taking on new students for the new year. So you can check that out. Um, but yeah, uh, again, back to it with the D chord here. Um, we're gonna do this little look. To bring us back in to the beginning, right?
which again is utilizing that note and some other ones from the major scale. All right, um, so a little recap of everything so far. We're just using that main lick. So when I'm in the D chord here, what I do is I strum down, I get my pinky on the third fret and the high E, and then off again. And then I've got my third finger already on the B here in three. So I get three, one. On the B. And then I take my third finger, right? And it's important I use my third finger. I slide that from two to four on the G, back to two in my index. So I've got my middle finger free to get that bass note on the G and start again. All right. And that's us, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that one. So again, take these ideas, make them your own and have fun with them. Again, if you want to work with me, I do uh, private coaching. I've got courses and stuff. You can check that in the description. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And, you know, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that always makes me happy. So thank you very much. Anyway, guys, have a great day and I'll see you soon.